Hi guys, welcome back to Tech Future Skills. Whether you are a doctor, a lawyer, or a dentist, or you are providing services that people have to book an appointment. So today in this video, I'm going to show you how to create your website so that people can book an appointment for your services through your website, okay? So without wasting much of our time, let's get started, okay? So now, head over to any browser of your choice and go to greenjigs.com then you will be brought to this home page now go ahead and click on get started now so on the next page you can either click on this view plans or you come down and select the plans you need so these are three web hosting plans they have here so if you are going to create multiple websites you can choose from pro to premium but for the sake of this tutorial and for those who want to create one website then we are going to choose this light plan so i'm going to go ahead and click on get started so on the next page you have to come up with your domain name so i am going to use one of my websites for the sake of this tutorial and that website is called Sabiman. okay so now i am going to come to this select input and choose my extension so click so i choose dot com so now click on next so the next thing you need to do is to fill in your account information then make payment of 45 euro 35 cents so which it will cost you to host this website and this this is the amount you'll be paying every year for your server so that your website can be 24 7 online okay so after all is done then GreenJix will send you your login URL, your username and your password, which you will use to log into your direct admin, which is the back end of your server. From there, you can start your WordPress installation, okay? So that login URL you will get from your service provider will lead you to the interface of your direct admin. So just go ahead and fill in your username and your password and click on sign in. So once you are logged in, you'll be brought to this place. Go ahead and hover your mouse over this menu icon. Then come down and click on Softaculous Apps Installer. Then click on WordPress. Scroll down a bit and click on Install Now. So from here, leave all these ones up here as they are. Don't touch anything. And make sure that here in this directory, that is empty. Nothing is here. Make sure nothing is here. Then come down at Site Settings and fill in the name of your site. So for the sake of this tutorial, this site is going to be about dental services. So I'm going to give you the name as Sabiman Dental Services. So come down here at the description, you give your site a description. Then you come here by the right side here at admin account. You come up with your admin username, then come up with your admin password, then your admin email address then scroll down all these ones you can leave them as they are except you want to change your language but i know everybody prefers english so leave it the way they are then scroll down here are the select team just don't select any team here yet you will do that from wordpress dashboard okay so all you need to do is to scroll down well then click on installation but before you click on installation you, you can fill in your email address here so that WordPress will send you the email details of your installations, okay? But it's optional. You can decide not to do it. So once everything is done perfectly, then click on install. It will take a few seconds, then WordPress will finish its installation. So congratulations. The software was installed successfully, okay? So now you have successfully installed WordPress to your server. So we can go ahead and customize it and create the dental services website we want to create in this tutorial today, okay? So as you can see, if you look down here, you have two URL links. So one of them leads to the homepage of your website directly, and the other one leads to the dashboard of your website, which is your WordPress dashboard. So now, before we go here, let me first show you, without clicking from here, how you can be able to go to your WordPress dashboard. So open any browser of your choice, then type in the name of your website. So in my own case, my website is sabiman.com. So after that.com, 
put forward slash WP admin, then hit enter. Then you'll be brought to this place. This is the login interface of your WordPress dashboard, okay? So from here in the login page, just fill in your admin login details, then click on login. So you'll be brought to your WordPress dashboard. So you're welcome to WordPress. So next, we are going to go and choose a team for our website, okay? So to do that, we'll navigate down here to appearance and click on teams. Then click on add new. So you can see here, there are thousands of free teams you can use for your website. So I'm going to go ahead and search for a team called Astra. So this is the Astra team we'll be using in this tutorial, okay? Just go ahead and click on install. So after installation, click on activate. So now your team has been activated. So now after you must have activated your team, if you look by the left panel here, you will see Astra. So just click on the Astra tool. So you'll be brought to this place. So we are going to go ahead and click on starter templates to install it. You'll be brought to this place. Just scroll down a bit and click on build your website now. So you'll be presented with this three page builder. Go ahead and click on Elementor. So on the next page, you will see thousands of already made templates you can choose from depending on the category of the website you want to create. So for the sake of this tutorial, we are creating this website for dental services. So I'm going to search something like doctor so I can find a good template for this. So I'm going to go ahead and select this one. So this is going to be the preview of how the website is going to look like. So just go ahead and click on skip and continue. Click on continue once again. Click on submit and build my website. So now on the next page, you see congratulations that your website is ready. So you can click on view your website now to see your website. So now you can see this is your website, but there is one fault now because this is supposed to be a home page. You're supposed to be brought to your home page. Like if you click this home page now, so you're supposed to be brought here. So this is your home page. So, but for one reason or the other, we were brought here and that reason is because there is no blog page here. So we can either create a blog page and add it here, then go to the settings and set it properly. So, but what I want us to do now is without creating a blog page for now, let's go to the settings and set it so that we have our home page directly. So to do that, we have to go back to our WordPress dashboard. So if you look at the left corner here, you will see the name of your site top here. So just hover your mouse over it, then click on dashboard. So now you are here on the dashboard, then navigate down to settings and click on reading. So here now you have to select which page you want to use as your home page and which page you want to use as your blog page. So now that we have not created a blog page yet. So let's go first and select our home page normal. Then you check this button below, a static page. Then come down here on the home page, click on this select. Then select home as the home page. So now come down and click on save changes. So now if you go back to your website, you will see that the home page now is now the home page. Then to do that, hover your mouse here at the top where the name of your website is written. Then click on visit site. So now this is your home page, as you can see. So now we can go ahead and edit all this text and add our own text or edit the image and add our own image, change the phone number and add our own phone numbers, okay? Likewise, all these ones. So to do that, if you remember when we were installing the unlimited elements, we installed it with Elementor. So that is why we are going to edit our pages with Elementor. So to do that, if you look up here at the tools bar, this black stripe, you see Elementor button there, just click on edit with Elementor. So you'll be taken to Elementor editing page. So if you observe here, if you notice here, you will see that you could not find the menu, the navigation menu where the pages are. So that is to show you that you can edit all these things here with Elementor, but you cannot be able to edit the navigation menu. So, and you cannot also, if you scroll down your footer, you cannot edit it with Elementor here. But I will still show you the method on how to edit the navigation menu and the footer, okay? So now let's move ahead on adding our own content 
on this our home page so to add your own content here on elementor so like here you want to change this header text so you can just highlight it or you double click on it then it will be highlighted then you see it here then you add your own content then to edit the subtitle just click on it also then it will be highlighted then you look at the left side here add your own content so that is the same way you will edit all this text and add your own content okay so if you scroll down all the way around so that is the way you edit them and add your own content so now let's edit the image and add our own image so now to edit the image click on the image then you will see the image here so click on the image section to choose your own image then click on upload files to upload from your computer click on select files then choose your image from your computer and click on open now click on insert image so as you can see the image has been inserted so now on this button which is book an appointment if you click on it now you will see on the link section there is no link so it's suppose when our website is working properly if you click on this you can be able to make an appointment okay so we will do that later on but first of all let's click on update to save our settings okay so click update so after updating this because you have added your own content your own text your own image and all the things you need to add to your home page so now the next thing we are going to do is to go to the customization section so that we can be able to edit the navigation menu and edit the footer also okay so to do that we are not going to do that with elementor we are going to do that from our wordpress dashboard so right now we are going to go back to our wordpress dashboard so from here on our wordpress dashboard all we need to do is to navigate down to appearance then click on customize so now for you to be able to edit this phone number here on the navigation menu you need to come here and click on header builder so on the next panel you will see site title and logo which means if you want to add your own logo and title you click on site title and logo so here you can be able to click and add your own logo change this logo and add your own logo and you can also come down and increase or decrease the width of the logo here and you can also come down on the site title and edit your site title if you want so let's go back one step then you come down on the button you click on the button this button represents this phone number so you can go ahead and add your own phone number okay so after it is done click on publish then go back again one step and back again once more so now we are done with the phone number so now we are going to come down and edit the footer oh i suppose to edit this one but we are going to do it with elementor i suppose to change this phone number here and change address then we are going to do it with elementor after we have finished with this footer so now to edit this footer and add your own opening time then here on the left panel click on footer builder so now you can see the sections that contains this content of this footer so the section that contains this your business opening hours is this widget 4 so click on this widget 4 so here you can be able to edit and add your own business hours so to do that click on it then add your business hour then after it's done click on publish then go back one step more so to edit the social links and add your own link so you click on the social widget here at the left panel so if you want to add your facebook link you can click on it then add your facebook page url so the same way you can click on twitter and add your own twitter account url same way on instagram and others if you want to add new so you can click here and select any other social media icon you want to add let's say for example youtube you can click here add youtube so after that click on add social icon then click on the youtube then add your own youtube link then after that click on publish go back one step more so the same method if you want to edit your services maybe you want to delete some of the services you do not render here or you want to add another service that is not here yet then this one is widget 3 come here and click on widget 3 so you can see the list of your services so you can either click it edit anyone you want to edit and add any service 
you want to add so after that make sure you click on publish then go back so we are done with this customization section so if you scroll a bit like i said before that we forgot to add our address and our phone number here on this section of which you cannot be able to edit it here we can only do it with elementor so let's go back to our elementor so now we are back to elementor so i'm going to scroll down to edit that section so where is the section okay here is it so to edit it i just have to click on it so you come here at the section you add your own address then on the number you click then come here at the number section you add your own number so now the next thing we are going to do is to install a plugin that will make it possible for people to be able to click on this book an appointment button and they will book an appointment which they will fill in their name their phone number and their email address if possible so now we are going to go back to our dashboard to our wordpress dashboard so we can be able to install this plugin that will help us make booking an appointment through our website possible so to do that let's go back to our dashboard so we are here on the dashboard so just navigate down to plugins and click on add new so we are going to search for a plugin called amelia so here on the search input search for amelia so this is the amelia appointment and event booking plugin that we will use to make booking on our site possible okay so just click on install now so now after installation click on activate so now amelia booking plugin has been activated on your site so if you look down here at your left panel here you will see the amelia here so now after activating the amelia booking plugin so we are going to go ahead and set it up so to do that you will see the amelia here by the left panel here you see just navigate to there then click on settings so here the first thing we are going to do is to set our company details so to do that click on view company settings so here on the next pop-up box click on this box to add your logo click on upload files click on select files then select your logo from your computer and click open now click on select picture so now fill in your name your address your website your phone number and your email address so now after you must have finished filling your details you click on save so next click on view notification settings so here you need to enter your site name so on the second input enter your sender email address so i'm going to use this for the sake of this tutorial so you come down a bit you come here send all notifications for additional addresses you add your admin email address so that when somebody makes a booking on your site the email notification will be sent to the admin okay after that click on save so the next thing we are going to do is to set up the payment method so click on view payment settings so here you can click here and choose your currency so you scroll down a bit and change your currency symbol so because we are using the free version of amelia that is why the payment method like woocommerce or moly or paypal or, or others like stripe and resopay are not activated because we are using the free one but if you want to upgrade your amelia and start receiving payments through paypal or moly or through other payment method they have here then you have to upgrade to the paid version so if you want to upgrade to the paid version click on the link in the description below and you'll be taken to amelia homepage but for the sake of this tutorial we are using the free version so i'm going to go ahead and click on save so now that we have finished setting up our company details and the notifications email so next thing we are going to do is to add our services so to do that you come to the left panel and click on services so now to add services or a service you need to first of all create a category so to do that click on add category write the name of your category here so after adding the name of your category click on this check mark icon so now your category has been created next thing to do is to add a service so you come up here and click on add service so here you can click and add an image for this service let's do that
maybe I'm going to select this one, or you select from your computer through upload files, then click on select picture. So on the first input, you can add the name of the service, for example. So you come down here and select your category. So to set the duration and pricing of this service, you come up here and click on duration and pricing. So you click here and select the duration. Let's select one hour, for example. So you come at the price, you add your price. So let's say $10. So to add extra images for this service, you click on gallery. So after everything is done perfectly, click on save. So with this method, go ahead and add other services, as many services as you can offer on your site. So now that we have finished adding our services, so the next thing we are going to do is to add these services to our website, especially on our homepage. So to do that, let's go to our homepage on Elementor. So here we are. So let's say I want to add the services under here. So what I'm going to do is to, on this box, click on Add Section, then drag and drop the text elements here. So I can change the text to book our services. So the next thing we are going to do is to add the services under this text. So I'm going to go over to and search for short code. So drag and drop it under the book our services text. So if you look at the left panel here, this is where we'll be adding the short code from Amelia, which will help to display our services here on our homepage. So to do that, we are going to use a short code. So first, we are going to say parenthesis. Then we say Amelia catalog category equals to. So after this, we are supposed to add an ID. So the ID that will represent this particular category. So to get the ID that represents this particular category, that will make it possible to display the services here. So let's go back to our dashboard. So you come here to Amelia. We are still on services. So you can see that the ID of this category is two. So we are going to add this ID number two to that Amelia category catalog, okay? So we go back to our Elementor homepage. So here now I'm going to say equals to two. Then make sure you close it with parentheses also, okay? When you open it, you close it. So after everything, make sure you click on update to update your settings. So now let's go back to our website to see how these services will be displayed on our homepage, okay? So I go back to our website now. So let's refresh it. So you can see that this is the services we added to our site, to our homepage. So now if a visitor comes to your site and want to make a booking for this service, he will just go ahead and click on it. So here the customer can go ahead and select the day he wants to make the appointment on. So, so let's say on 28th. Then he chooses his time, let's say 11 to 11.30 11 a.m. So after that, he click on continue. So on next pop-up, so as you can see here is your date, your time. You come down here. So you come down here, you fill in your name, your last name, your email address, and your phone number. So after that, click on continue. So you get congratulations, thank you. Your booking is complete. So now that the visitor has finished booking an appointment for a service through your site, so now how do you know that someone has booked an appointment on your site? So to know, a notification email will be sent to your admin email address. And also you will see it in your Amelia on your WordPress dashboard. So to see that on your WordPress dashboard, let's go to dashboard right now. So navigate down to Amelia here and click on dashboard. So if you scroll down, so you will see that you have one booking from your site, but the problem is that it has already been automatically approved, which shouldn't be so. The approval should be done manually so that the dentist will check if there is time available for him or her, okay? So that you can manually approve it before it says approved. So to set it so that you can always approve every appointment manually. So what we are going to do is to navigate to Amelia and come down to settings. So here, click View General Settings. So come to Default Appointment Status. Click on it and select Pending. Then come down and click on Save. So now that we have changed it to Pending, so let's go back to our website and book another appointment. So we come over to our website. So let's 
try to select another one and book another appointment. So here I'm going to come down and select maybe another day. Then select a time. Then click on continue. So go ahead and add details and click on confirm. So click on finish. So let's go back. So now let's navigate down to Amelia and click on dashboard. So if we scroll down now, you will see the second booking appointment. So you can see it here. So now you can see that it is on pending. So for you to be able to approve it, you just have to click here and they approve it. So now that you have seen how to manually approve an appointment. So let's see how to make it possible that when a visitor clicks on this link, he will be taken to the services section. So to do that, here on the home page, click on edit with Elementor. So we need to scroll down and come to the services section. So here on the services, click on edit section. So here click on advanced. Come down to CSS ID. So we call it services. So we're going to give it services here. Then click on update. So next we are going to go to this button. Click on this button. So here on the link, make sure it starts with Ash and say services. So after that, click on update. So now let's go back to our website and test it out. So click on the book an appointment button. So you will be navigated to this book our services section. So from here, you can click and select any service you want to book an appointment for, okay? So that is it. That brings us to the end of this video today, okay? So this is how to create a booking services website. Maybe you are a doctor, a hairdresser, a dentist, or a lawyer. This is perfectly the way to create a professional booking services website, okay? And if you want to learn more about WordPress, please, I would like you to comment at the comment section so that I could help you out in any way you're finding difficult, okay? So with that being said, if this is your first time of coming across my channel, please do us a favor to like and share this video. Subscribe to this channel and don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you'll be notified anytime we upload video tips like this, okay? So thank you for watching and see you guys in the next videos.